Our rivals in football from another school drew a huge dick butt in the middle of the courtyard with spray paint. It took them a few days to clean it and I've never seen anything funnier to be honest. I'm sorry, but what is a dick butt? Limo. Sex, fights, grand theft, weed, cocaine, students with guns. You know, the usual. Cop in the area of school discharged his weapon and called it in like someone had shot him. School went on full lockdown for four to five hours into the evening until he finally confessed that he shot himself. Full SWAT in tactical gear clearing out all the buildings just to find that dumb dumb shot himself. Face palm. This kid that was definitely the weirdest kid in our year decided to burst into our class and try shanking this other dude in the head with a pencil. Kid barely drew blood. SMH. I think it was high school or middle school, but a girl got mad and kicked a toilet causing it to flood the upstairs. And all I remember was a waterfall of toilet water from the hallway going to the front doors. The girl was also a cheerleader. So I think she high kicked it. Every morning we would have an assembly with all 700 students in a big hall. One kid gave a presentation on recycling and he farts. Sharted. Then proceeded to full on shit his pants on stage. Everyone roared into hysterics and the kid was never seen at school again. He was talked about for years up until I left. Not sure if he's still a legend there or not. Sophomore year. Halloween. Right before school starts. I found a way to email the entire 1,000-person school simultaneously. Too good of a chance to pass on. The entire school received an email along the lines of, Excited for Halloween everyone? Don't forget your insulin. You're gonna need some tomorrow. Don't have diabetes? You will. 20 minutes later in first period I got called up to the office. The principal's office. Principal was very chill about the whole thing, but somehow thought that by mentioning diabetes I was not talking about ODing on candy but I was referencing a party with alcohol. I don't like alcohol and I was nowhere near popular enough to hold a party anybody would come to. I just said, it won't happen again, and I didn't even bother trying to explain it. Ended up being the year I willingly stopped trick or treating. I lost my virginity the first week of November that year which to be frank must be the burning I feel. Shame. I love this lol. My worst incident at school was somebody was digging under the gates to get out and made it. They were snitched on and found in a man's house. The man was gone. 